Right, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Everything on Keyboard. Right, um... Oh, well done, fella. I'm actually kind of surprised. I wonder where he's got all his Lux gear from, because he definitely doesn't look like the kind who should have some. Right, let's get underway. <laughs> but I don't mean anything mean by that. Just, you know, some people, right? Yeah? Uh, don't really have the skill level to be owning it, but never mind. Right. Can do, but I've got to go to night time in the forest. It's never really that fun, but it's something we've got to do anyway. Highlands Peaks, uh, as always, and then uh, I've got to collect all the sponsor nodes on the way. Right, two front flips. Are you doing one as well? Oh, nice. Should have taken your hands off the handlebars. Extra style points, mister. I don't know if he knows about that, though. Is he going to do it again? Yep, he's going for the extra life. Okay, so everybody is on the same task. I wonder what he'll do now. Is it another front flip? Just a regular no hand. Oh, okay. This guy is maybe listening to me. I've got no idea. It's nice to follow people around and just see what they're up to and how they play. Oh, a 360 backflip, which you landed in fakey and fell over off. Oh, that's unfortunate, fella. So you got to get used to them to be able to do it. Or get used to landing in fakey without fakey balance, uh, which is a bit more of a skill than <laughs> anything else. Hey, speed wobbles. What a little perk to come across. Still haven't come across anything interesting so far. Or the Swanson node. I always check down below or away from the boss jump, because sometimes that is where it spawns. And, um... Instead of finding it, I found myself doing a fire node instead. Um, I would really like some binoculars, to be honest. The binoculars would be a great help. A really great help, because then I'd be able to see where this monster node is a bit easier uh, than before, because it sort of spawns in a bigger radius. But if you're not going to give that to me, then I guess I can't really do anything about it. Uh, that was rather close, because I didn't think I was going to flip all the way over, or even be on my wheels, for that matter. Right, can we actually get what I'm after, please? Uh, let me just get up this. Oi. And hopefully, um, I mean, I, to be honest, it's my fault. I'm not getting the rep I should be getting. And then if I get the rep I should be getting, uh, then I wouldn't have this problem. Oh, look, somebody's actually turned up and is ahead of me. How has that happened? Uh, what? Okay. Well, FVD, uh, I'm chasing you down somehow. Um, I don't even understand how you've just appeared in my lobby and you're ahead of me. We must have got caught up in the Descenders universe or something. Sorry, dude. Hey, I found it. Oh my god, thank god. At least it's got to be kinetic ones. Uh, I was really hoping that it would pop up at some point, and I was lucky enough that it was actually in the right area, as it should be, uh, in the correct way that I wanted it to go. You know, I'm going to go search down there, and I was right, and that's all that matters to me. Right, time to go semi uh, medium pace uh, through the Highlands, because uh, I don't really think you can call this fast. Is it, it really isn't, is it? This is like, ah, maybe it is a, a little bit, but I'd call this medium pace. Right, there's the finish of the track without bailing six times. I mean, to be honest, I don't ever think about that one. It just happens half the time. Most of the time you shouldn't be bailing in descenders, so stuff like that should never be a problem for anybody, really. Oh, that was really cool, and then it was just an invisible one, well, an invisible rock, a rock that I was never going to see in a million years. I wanted to see if I could make the gap, and I did, but then this rock just came in and ruined it for me. That's not even what I was trying to do. I was just trying to make this cool little gap across here, but no, somebody had to go, oh yeah, sorry mate, um, can't come through here. There's a rock here instead. Right, through the forest to the boss jump. I wonder if I... I'm going to go for it at least once, just, just to have a little see. Is it possible... Um, I don't know if you should have deleted my bike like that. I kind of felt that I was a reasonable, a reasonable. Okay, what, what happened there? Where did all my speed go? Okay, we're just losing lives at the moment because I'm terrible at boss jumps. Um, but that's just what's going. What is happening? Why am I not getting? I could easily make it through there. What is this game doing? Just make it, like, what the hell? I could have done that every single day of the week, but you were just going, no, why? Well, the forest is a bit more populated than it usually is. I've got to get 10 of these nodes, so I've got to turn it dark, which is really annoying. I don't really like it when it's nighttime through here, and it's just annoying that the fact that I've got to do 10 nodes here, but I'm trying to get other stuff done as well. Um, it's going to take an awful lot of time out of my day, but why not? Why not? Well, yeah, that's a tree. That's fine. Uh, not a problem at all, mate. Well, this is an awfully steep node that I wasn't expecting. Uh, looks like I'm just going to do this on my front wheel. What? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, that would have been so cool if I could actually do that rather than being bad. It would have been way easier on controller to control this, but 
Uh, maybe not so much um, <laughs> with a keyboard, just because you have to be really finicky with it, and this is me not being really finicky with it. It's an interesting node, though. It's quite fun to ride. It's like a jump line and also a super steep line, uh, which I didn't need to bail on, but it's still very cool. Whoa, that is some. That is weird. <laughs> Doing what? Okay, I'm, I might be not. Oh, yeah, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, this is what I mean. First person, I'm in the control, mate. I can do this any day of the week. Easy. There we go. I was going to say, I'm out of control, probably going to die. And then I was in control and didn't die. And then I'm back into this absolutely mahoosive ramp where everybody loves to hang out in the big ramp. The bigger ramp in the game. The biggest ramp in the game. And... Play! I mean, it's kind of useful for rep, I suppose you could say. Yeah, third one in there. Okay. Epic. Right, maybe let's try that again, shall we? Grab some two times on the way down. Grab some three times in the air. Actually land and not die. Use the high speed. Use this bit. One, two, three. You just have to fully commit straight away. The only annoying bit about it is the camera. Otherwise it would be way easier to do. But there we go. Easy mode. Back at it with the best time of day in the game. Dusk at the forest. Uh, we have three, well, uh, two more nodes to do after this one because this is the eighth one and then I've got to do two more and then, well, one of them is going to be the shump. And then we get to go to the next area. Actually, I just realised... Yeah, I've only done one sponsor track. Oh, I've got to go and look for that one. That's really epic of me that I haven't bothered to do that. Oh, I'm such an idiot, mate. Whoa, okay, that's a bit closer than I thought it was going to be. Right. Ugh. Okay, I don't need this, man. I, don't, I need to go and uh, leave this node and go and find some other bits, okay? Oh, thank God. At least I found it nice and quick. Well, this will be the 10th node and the boss jump won't be. But at least we actually came across it. I'm very, very glad I don't have to deal with going anywhere else. Thank God it was super close. Wow. Hello, headlamp. I realise that you're not actually attached to the bike and you are just like a really weirdly, like, floating lamp, I suppose you could say. Like a floating lens flare. Oi, that's a bit close for comfort. Um, and you, you, to be fair, in first person and in the forest, it, the light is actually doing its job. Usually, everywhere else, especially when you're in third person, you just can't see anything. It's just impossible. Oh, oh, oh. We're good. We are good. Yep. Still easy recovery. Thanks, game. And there's our 10th one in the forest. There we go. Nice and easy. This is the boss jump time. Hopefully this won't be too bad. I can still see, as I should be able to. It would be really nice to get binoculars before uh, anywhere else. Especially when you get to the peaks. The peaks map is kind of huge. And it's quite a bit of a pain to go and find sponsor nodes. But you never know with your luck. It could be really good. But for me, uh, as of late with these ones, it's kind of bad. Am I going to make this? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, easy mode. Absolutely. Smooth as anything, mate. I will take the binoculars over a better impact, mate. It's so much more useful to me right now than a better impact would ever be. I can handle a couple of lousy jumps, but I can't really handle having to look for stuff. It's kind of annoying. Yep, why are these so close to... Oh, that one doesn't even have a bloody landing ramp. Um, but the game didn't like to stop bugging out with these ramps. Like, I know you want to put them super close together, but you don't have to give that one actual magical properties to have a flying ramp. What is that about? Don't need that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I did not need to be falling over there either. Thanks, game, for allowing me to, I don't even know, defy gravity and hook myself on there. I'm very glad that at least if you do it for the ramp, you can do it for me too. Oh, we're hiding behind the boss jump, are we? Oh, this game, man. Why are you putting it there? I'm glad it's there so I don't have to go and carry on looking for it. But still, it doesn't need to be behind the boss jump. It could be in front in some way, so I can just naturally keep progressing. But no, I've got to come back on myself for some reason. As always. Oh, there we go. Still alive. Do three backflips. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. Right, number three. Here we are. Third sponsor node of the day. Nice and fast in first person. Let's hope it goes well. Or maybe put your hand in the right spot on the keyboard rather than just pressing wherever you feel like. Because uh, that would actually be a, whoa, a lot better than I thought it was going to be. This really is just like a roller coaster that doesn't have any loops. Like, if you imagine this was just a big roller coaster, uh, that's genuinely all it is, isn't it? A huge roller coaster with no loops, but it's still 
It's got the fun going for it. Oh, well, this is not going to be good. Uh, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm actually alive. Oh. Um, right. Sure. I have no idea how that's happened, but why not? I wish I just realised I've got 50k rep and I'm not even out of this area yet. Which is the first. Usually that never happens. Right, boss jump. Here we go. 721 time is definitely doable. Um, got no idea what it's looking like though when we get to it. Does it have walls? Does it not? It's looking rather flat over there, so possibly not. But who actually knows until we look? It does. It has walls on the right and walls on the left. So we're actually quite sorted for both. Why not? Oh, they are kind of far out, though. Yeah, they are very far out. Okay, slowing down is definitely going to be the case. Uh, see, if the walls were a bit closer, I could use them to land in them. But, like, now they're not... Oh, my God. What the hell happened there? Can I make it down to the bottom? Is there alive? Nope. Okay, never mind. Right. Third time is the charm. Um, actually make it. No jumping. Getting... What? Okay, we're riding down this time. Oh, no. Okay, same same outcome. Right, let's not fail and actually get what we're after, please. Full commit. Making it. There we go. And getting the life back that I needed in the first place. Thanks, game. Here we are, finally, for the last node of today. It's the sponsor node. What is it going to be like? Probably absolutely nutty or terrible. Who knows? But first person in it up. It looks rather curvy, especially for a connect node, but the peaks is probably the best place for it because I think it's probably the fastest area in the entire game, especially when you have uh, stuff like that. The corners, though, um, are unbelievably sharp <laughs> for the speeds that I'm going at. I don't think you would ever be able to turn them in a million years unless you slid into them like I am. So you kind of have to sacrifice a bit of speed. There's no way you can ever go full tilt and just completely be fine. I, I mean, if you're lucky with some node generation, probably, but... Eh, this one, not so much. There's a lot of unbeatable corners here, and this node is absolutely beaten. Right, let's leave. I don't want to be here anymore. We're all done for today, and I can go and edit this video. Right, let's load in, please. And let's quit out. Yes, 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 yes. And then we're going to go here, and then down here. Go one, two, and three. And then we're going to dip. Thank you all very much for watching. And thank you very much to my money havers. Andrew Grimm, Luna Olam, Susie, Will and Warren. Thank you ever so much for supporting the channel. It really does mean the world to me. If you'd like to become a money haver as well. Please do press the join button below. Subscribe for more of this stuff. And I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye.